Hey there, it's Melissa from MelissaS1.com. Um, I just kind of want to share my thoughts about um, the Cut It by American Crafts. It's pretty cool. Um, this is actually the first cutter that I've actually owned myself. I've tried a bunch, um, especially when I when I worked in graphic design. Um, at BYU, we had like the $500 cutters that were really nice, and then you know I've tried the guillotine ones. I've tried, you know, the $3,000 book binding ones. Um, and uh, my mom has a Fiskars, which has been great for her. It, you know, she's had it I think for like the last six years, seven years, no longer than that. She's had it forever. Anyway. Um, there are definitely some things that I like about this one over the Fiskars. Um, I mean, this is not your $500 cutter, but it's really nice. And, um, you know, there are a lot of things that I like about it. And I definitely think I'll be using this over what, you know, this method that I've been using in the past. I've um, been using... Uh, Fiskars, uh, matte cutter, and my big ruler. Um, I'm, this is accurate, but it takes a lot of time. This is also accurate, and it's a lot faster. So I'm just going to kind of show you a couple of the features that I really like. Um, first off, um, this bottom plate is metal, which is nice. Um, the bar is metal, so you're not going to get a whole lot of bowing. And you've got... Um, I don't even know what this is, but it's like a foam underneath here that kind of keeps the paper in place. And this clicks down so your paper is not, is a lot less likely to move around while you're cutting, which is nice. Um, that's a problem that I've had with the ruler and cutter method that I've used. Um, um, it's got a slim profile so it can fit in pretty much any space. Um, it's got a great great cartridge system. I've got a three and a half year old. She, you know, even though I store my scissors high, she somehow can still get to them and wreak havoc. I love that these, that this cutter has the blades in a cartridge. So no matter how I handle it, if my daughter finds it, if she handles the cartridge, she's not going to cut herself, which I love. I love, love, love this aspect. I also love that there's a quick and easy spot for all these cartridges. They're right there. I don't have to have anything separate from the cutter itself. It's all in one, which is great. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of different cuts. So this is a, this is a scoring um, cartridge. So I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. And, you know, no matter how hard I press, it's not going to go through the paper, which I've, you know, I've had that problem in the past with um, my scoring methods. But, so this is nice. You know, you have a perfect fold every time. Um, that's great. Great for card making. Great for making boxes, like I showed before in the last tutorial. Um, you know, it's nice. It's super convenient. So that's great. You've got your straight... You've got a scallop, you've got a wave. Um, this one is absolutely adorable, I've got to show you. Um, and it's so easy, I'll just kind of show you from here. You just lift this up and insert the cartridge in. You, I mean, there's this is really just so simple and easy to use from here. Um, yeah, this is just, it's such a delicate little zigzag. I love how it feels. These cut really well. I mean, all these cartridges are brand new. They're sharp. I got it yesterday. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they wear, but for right now, I mean, everything, every single cut is so smooth. I really like how it cuts. Um, <clears throat> so this is adorable. I absolutely love this. It's not like super decorative. It's just enough to kind of add a little bit of flair. Perfect for boxes, cards, whatever. Um, I'm not a huge scrapbooker, so that's not necessarily a big, like having a ton of decorative 
um, cartridge isn't really a big in, um, incentive for me, but this one's really nice. I like this one a lot because it's not overly girly, scrapbooky, I don't know. Um, I think it's really great. Um, my other favorite is the perforated one. Um, I love this perforated one. I'll show you just a second here. Again, like it's so easy to switch out the cartridges. Um, and you know, you're ready to rock and roll so quickly. So this just makes the perfect perforation every time. And you can just, I can see myself using this uh, in a million different ways. So I'm really excited about this in particular. Um, the measuring system is not exactly my favorite. Um, to be honest, I really wish that the grid went all the way to the cutter. Um, it doesn't, so you kind of lose about an inch of um, accuracy, you know, when you get really small. So that's, that's kind of a downside. Um, this is nice. You have, like, the extendable arm, and it can hold up your paper, so you can, you can cut things down, which is great. You can cut things down from 19 inches. Um, I wish that there were some markings up here. Um, it'd be nice to have more, you know, I'm losing two inches almost, an inch and three quarters right here of, of markings. So that's kind of a downside a little bit. Um, also I wish that, so this is kind of a back plate you can, um, hit all, push all of your paper up against here. It would be nice if that continued over onto this side. But, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, all of these um, are pretty minor things. So, um, but anyway, overall, I really like this cutter. It's great. It's really accurate. I don't, I haven't had any problems with the, the line kind of waving or anything like that. Um, anyway, it's great. I really enjoy it, and I'm excited to work on more projects with it, so... Hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave a comment. Um, yeah, and I'll be giving one away on my blog this Friday. So thanks again for watching all of these crazy videos. Um, and for more tutorials and freebies, check out my blog, MelissaEspin.com. Thanks.